What's going on there you guys and welcome back it's your boy Elio here with another video since uh, Shelly is the rebirth of this month which is March 2021 I figured we would go ahead and start off with Shelly uh, especially if you don't know or you're new to the game uh, recently MSL had like a super duper like fat um, skill update to a lot of monsters so I am in the process of redoing a lot of the videos that I have up so if they go down um, they will go down the same day that the new one goes up so if you go to click on it and it's not there it's probably going to be come out that same day but anyways you guys let's go ahead and get right into it all right so we finally have Shelly here which I don't know why this photo looks I mean, it doesn't really matter, but it just looks horrible for some reason to me, his figure. It looks very, very pixelated. But anyways, um, Dark Shelly is an attacker type, which, by the way, all the Shellys are single target only. So don't think that they are AoE because they aren't. Um, Dark Shelly is an attacker type coming in with 28k HP, 3k attack, and then 2.4k defense. He is a nat 4 as well. HP is pretty solid as being uh an attacker type uh attack is fine and defense is as it should be let's go over here and take a look at his skills though which i think we can access through the little skill book tab so his three star skill is defense down 100 percent chance for two turns and then his five star skill is dark predator so he only benefits from dark predator if he's fighting dark mons now this isn't super duper useful anywhere at all at least in my opinion unless it's going to be in the elemental tower of chaos because perhaps you need a nuker there that can take care of dark mons it's the only thing that you could run is dark mons and this would be the type of monster to get the job done because the defense down everyone else on your squad can benefit from that and then obviously with the dark predator and it being single target um I won't say that it's going to be comparable to uh, Dark Gatito, but yeah, you'll definitely have a whole bunch of damage. But that's the only place I can think of in terms of his uses of that. And then his defense down gets a 30% damage boost. And then Predator, oh my goodness, dude, Predator gets a, what is that, a 35% damage boost? That's a lot of damage. Up next though we have Light Shelly who is also an attacker type coming in with 28k HP, 3.2k attack and then 2.3k defense so extremely similar stats compared to the Dark Shelly just slightly more attack but 200 more attack doesn't compensate for 50% more crit damage just FYI and let's go take a look at the skills real quick so light predator on a three star skill with 50% uh, attack power increase and then for the five star skill 100% attack power increase so double light predator once again this is pretty much an elemental tower of chaos um, type of mon slash world boss because especially since light and dark shelly are accessible you guys just like Beth last month especially as newer players I implore you to pick up as many of these guys as you can because not only can you farm them out to Evo 3 after the rebirth is over but that's perfectly fine fodder that you can use in world boss to get your score up for your your first second or third team like I mean and then once you get lucky hopefully and pull some more just in general better nat 4s and hopefully nat 5s one day you can then release those or just keep them on your third team like it's basically free points for world boss right here farmable free points for this month so do keep that in mind um predator on his three star uh gets a 25 percent damage boost while predator on his five star gets another 35 percent damage boost um Obviously not going to do as much damage as the dark type, but I can't really think of bringing him anywhere else because why would you use the same element to damage the element that you're fighting, which is the same element as yours? Like, why would you do light versus light in, in any situation of an element to Tower of Chaos? I'm sure some people out there do it, but if you had a choice, why not just bring a dark mon to nuke that light mon? I would even argue why not bring a dark mon to nuke that dark mon as well because of the extra crit damage. Alright, next up we have Wood Shelly, who is a defender type who's been around since the dawn of man. Uh, he's coming in with 25k HP, nearly uh, 2k attack, and then 2.6k defense. Perfectly fine stats for a nat 3, nothing super duper exciting. Let's take a look at his skills real quick. So he has sap on his three star skill as 100% chance to, ins to inflict sap for two turns. Uh, this is 
sap times one so absolutely garbage sap just FYI and then he comes in with his traditional wood predator which increases his attack power by 100% when attacking wood Astromon. The only issue with this though is that he's single target. Sap and predator do not go together and with a 2k base attack stat you're not going to really get any damage out of him even with that 35% increase to his predator right there and while sap does get a damage boost it's still only one time sap and it lasts for three turns but yeah it's nothing but astroguide fodder my dudes nothing but astroguide fodder alright up next is water shelly who is an attacker type coming in with 29k hp 3.2k attack and then 1.6k defense that's a lot of damage like his stats besides his defense is actually on par if not slightly better than the light version of him which is a bit of a, a weird champ because this is a three star this is a farmable rgb mon and it's light um counterpart is slightly lower in the stats other than the defense but the defense stat is a very very big concern but let's take a look at his skills real quick so for his three star skill he has defense down 100 percent chance for two turns and then for his five star skill he has water predator which is 100 percent attack power increase when attacking water astramon uh dark is obviously just a copy of this one an exact copy of this one almost to the t besides the defense stat pretty much and this is honestly like one of the best Shellys, especially before Light and Dark Shelly came out because super duper useful in whatever content that you're doing just because that 100% defense down is super duper free. So you got a free debuffer, especially for Titans. There's a lot of Titan compositions where if you don't have Hades or someone of that nature that is able to apply... I would, even, I would argue that Hades defense down isn't even reliable, but... If you need a defense down mon on your left lanes for um, Fire Titan, these, this is definitely the go-to. I've seen many Shellys in that composition. Uh, in terms of PvE though, there's nothing else I can really think of other than you just running him because you need a defense down type mon, which is perfectly fine once again. You could feel free to build him tanky just to make sure that he survives for that, that defense down because honestly, that Water Predator, even with that 3.2k attack stat, isn't really useful because you're fighting the same element in order to get that benefit so his damage with that water predator is actually something that you don't want like you don't want him getting orbs and titans because it's just going to be trash damage when you want him to be a debuffer instead but a very 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 uh good shelly right here and his defense down gets a uh 20 damage boost and goes to three turns which is pretty pog and then his um, Predator obviously gets a 35% damage increase, but once again, it's only for Water Astramon that you're fighting, which, yeah, we're not going to talk about that. And then last and definitely least, we have Fire Shelly, who is a balance type coming in with 29k HP, 2.2k attack, and then 1.7k defense. Balance type, uh, his attack and defense are not acceptable, they're kind of bad. I wish his defense was a little bit more higher in, in order for him to be classified as a balance type, but I don't make the rules. I, I just review these mons. But anyways, his 3 star skill is the Anemic Taunt, which grants 100% chance to lower the enemy's attack and draw its attention for 2 turns. Absolutely trash. It has just been so far outclassed by Barb Taunt, which uh, another Astromon has finally gotten. And not to mention the infamous Fearless Taunt. So Taunt just needs to be deleted from the game. And then for his 5 star skill, Fire Predator once again. 100% attack power increase when attacking Fire Astromon. And with 2.2k attack, I can tell you right now, he's going to be doing some sad face gaming amount of damage against whatever Fire Astromon that he's fighting. Especially with that defense. Like, at least Water Shelly is like a glass cannon, while this one is just like glass. Like, that's it. <laughs> There's no oomph coming from him or anything. So, Taunt gets a 20% damage boost, and it goes to, what was that, three turns, I believe? Yep, and then Fire Predator gets a 35% damage increase. But, obviously, this mod is purely for the Astro Guide, just because it's just not good at all. Absolutely not good at all. But that pretty much wraps up the Shelly review, you guys. There's nothing super duper particularly amazing about the Light and Dark Shellys, but I would say in 99% of cases, Dark Shelly is the most desirable one out of the bunch, followed by Water Shelly, at least depending on what content that you're doing. If you're focused on the Elemental Tower of Chaos, 
I think water and um, dark Shelly will be super duper useful. Uh, after that will be light and then wood and fire. So dark, water, light, wood, and fire would be uh, my thoughts on the Shellys. But feel free to leave a comment below uh, about what monster review you guys would like to see next that I should be redoing because I do have a long list but I'm trying to prioritize the bigger changes over the smaller ones and I thank you guys for your patience with updating the bot just because it's not that it's hard to do it just is very time consuming and when you have other things to do it's like uh you know it's a lower priority than even something like recording videos because I'd rather get a video out here for you guys uh as soon as I can Versus updating the bot, even though the bot is used pretty much 24-7. But if you haven't joined the Discord yet, go ahead and join it. Because we do have that bot where you can look up all this information in the game. Just by typing in this monster. And it's super duper easy to use. And you don't have to come back and forth to the Astro Guide while you're playing the game. To look up something that you're curious about. But anyways you guys, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to leave a comment below so we can have some more interesting discussions. And I'll see you in the next one.